Airlines saw a surge in passengers last year, and security saw a surge in guns. Alex Dimitrik reports that led to thousands of arrests nationally, as well as a record number of arrests at BWI Marshall. In 2016, TSA officers seized 3,391 guns at security checkpoints. Last year, 3,957 people brought a gun to a checkpoint nationwide. That keeps going up year after year after year. At BWI Marshall, a record 26 guns were seized. It doesn't buy much peace of mind for passengers that the guns are frequently loaded. Unbelievable. Unbelievable and terribly frightening. TSA staged a briefing at BWI on the right way to fly with a gun. Weapon and ammunition must be packed in a hard case and then securely locked and checked in as baggage at an airline's counter where it will go to the plane's cargo hold. For long guns, it's the same procedure but with multiple locks. Sticking a rifle in with your golf clubs won't work. As for leaving it in a carry-on bag, there are two primary excuses. The first most common excuse is, I forgot. The second most common excuse is, my husband packed my bag or my wife packed my bag. Neither of those excuses fly. But no excuse, including a concealed carry permit, will stop what happens next. You will be placed under arrest by an MDTA officer, and then you will go through the arrest process where you will face criminal charges. All of which will back up that security line for everyone else. And while that might mean inconvenience... I'm glad that they're uh, at least finding the weapons. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. A first offense for bringing a gun to the airport carries a $3,000 fine and the possibility of jail time.